hi everyone welcome back to channel tech and art hope you guys doing good today we will see uh, how we can connect a sql server database through excel okay so we can export all the data in excel before starting the session i would request each and everyone who are newly joined please like do subscribe and don't forget to share with others please visit the channel playlist sql server dba more than 150 video which can help you day-to-day -day activity okay and uh, recently i have created one shared location so whatever the documents and queries asked in a comment section i have uploaded to that shared location you can please check uh, my recent video in the description you will get the link okay i will put the link in this video as well so what i'm going to do today so this is my sql server instance okay so uh, any database like let's say tech01 in table i'm going to do experiment today i want to just let's see how many data records in this table okay so we'll see firstly how many records in a person table address table if you can see here 19,614 so I'm going to connect all the records in Excel through Excel okay open your Microsoft Excel go to data and here you can see from other source SQL server so on top you can get get it uh, SQL server click on that it will ask you the server name so server name is your the instance name which you connected right click connect it will show you the recent one copy it from here and just paste it I am going to connect with Windows authentication if you want to some changing uh, for SA and any particular user you can go with that click on the next as you can see connection established because I can see uh, all the database is reflecting here I am going to choose tech01 here you will get the option all the tables or any specific table so I am going to select person address right so person address table click on the next here you can see uh, you know uh, you can change the location of the file name and uh, the rest of the things I am leaving by default click on finish as soon as you click click on a finish you will get the option here uh, data you want as a table format or any chart pivot chart and all so I am want table format so I am leaving with the table click on ok you can see the all the data is reflected here okay if you can see the records how many records in Excel we got it you can see the exact count 19,614 uh, if you can see here Excel 1914 now uh, let's say uh, you don't need all the columns okay so what I will do uh, we will filter here right uh, some column we can filter like uh, we can check uh, address ID okay and then address line 1 then address line 2 okay and then city okay so let's say I am I need this much record only I want to filter right like, like this okay so how we can do in Excel how we can achieve here okay so we can achieve in Excel as well if you go to data here you can see the connection okay come to properties here you can see the definition here you can see the con uh, configuration file it's placed in that location don't uh, do anything you can see the connection string okay leave it as it is connect command type you can see here the command type as now it's selected as a table okay so what we'll do uh, we'll change it here okay we'll change it uh, command type in a sql okay so before doing this uh, let me show you firstly the update things let's say if you want to update couple of records here let's say let's say you want to update few records here update person address table okay I'm going to update 
this person at this table set let's say c t equal to something x y z okay where x y z where address id equal to uh, 1 okay so i am going to update this address id equal to 1 uh, for ct x y z okay so let's update and see one row affected okay if you can put it like uh, here if you filter you can see x y z so need to check whether it's updated in excel or not if you can see in here excel you can see the ct it's still not updated so you have to you need to right click and refresh as soon as you refresh you can see ct is updated as x y z if you revert it just want to go to update same ct here if you can see it will revert it it will revert it to same city so through that way you can achieve the update as well now we'll come to that area uh, how we can achieve the customize you know uh, column if you want to do select it, it will come to all so i don't need all the columns so how we can achieve let's say i need only address one second address id i need i need address line one okay i need address line two okay so this many records only i need okay so how we can achieve in excel come to data connection properties here definition okay go to the command type as you can see here right now it's table so you need to select the sql for the customized query so now you can paste it just do the copy paste and paste it here okay for the customized query okay click on ok it will give you the warning just click on yes okay and just close it as you can see here now we got it only the address id address line 1 address line 2 here we have we also selected address id address line 1 address line 2 only three column so here also we got it only three columns so through that way you can customize as per your requirements because millions of record is there in a right so if you need only four five columns three columns so through that way go to connection properties and definition and here you need to put it okay why i didn't did uh, previously because it will see if you go here now and again it will you can click on a search it will fail it will not fetch the, all the records why i am telling you so uh, you need to go here and properties definition and now you need to establish the connection file again so browse you need to do the browse where it's saved okay uh, windows c in my location here uh, somewhere in a user okay and this uh, documents not documents uh, here it's one drive documents my app da data source this is the files if you can click ok see again the, i achieved this okay so if you can click ok again i got it the same table so through that way you can establish the re-establish the connection the, the previous one if hope you got the small 
effort only but it's very useful sometimes to do the analysis extract the data in excel format because it's easily you can read all those things in excel so that's it for today guys we'll meet you soon uh, we, uh, if you like the video please share with others and please do subscribe and you can contribute as a youtube thanks and you can join as channel member i have enabled it uh, if you want to join channel member you can join it okay thank you guys